My gut feeling is that Morris is innocent and I gotta get him out of here. I gotta find some way to get Ethan Morris out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. I should consult my superiors. Maybe... <sighs> no, that's stupid. I gotta handle this on my own. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> Ethan Morris is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. I just don't believe he's guilty. Nothing about him matches the killer's profile. It's none of my business. If Perry and Blake think Mars is the killer, what can I do about it? I can't do anything for Mars. These are serious charges he's facing. That shithead Perry doesn't give a damn if Blake beats up a witness or if Mars is innocent. All he wants is to be able to tell the press they've arrested the origami killer. He may be guilty. He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. No, I, I can't just stand by and watch. I'm gonna help Mars get out of here. 